Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today in this quick video, I will show you how to install private internet access VPN on Linux. This is one of the most popular VPN programs and it has over 10,000 servers worldwide. If you want to know how to install it on Windows, I have another video. You can check it out. I'll put a link in the description and one in the upper right corner. But this is going to be for Linux Mint. So let's get started. And if you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. All right, let's get started. All right, so first of all, we got to download private internet access program. So for that, just go to any browser and type in the search field privateinternetaccess.com. It's going to take you to the main homepage. Then in the upper part, go to apps and choose Linux. It's going to take you to the download page and then just click download PIA for Linux. Once the download is complete, we got to install it. For that, we got to go to the terminal. So go ahead and start the terminal. It is located in the lower left corner. Then go ahead and type CD space downloads. The download starts with the capital D and then press enter. On the next line, you're going to type CH space PIA dash Linux dash 3.3.1 dash 0692 dot run and then press enter. And if you're watching this video when the new version is already released, then you need to change the name of this file. For example, it's going to be PIA dash Linux dash 3.3.2 or something like that. You can find the name of this file in the download folder. So if you don't know what to type, go ahead and check out the download folder and then type up the exact name of the file downloaded. Then you got to enter the password to authenticate this action. And there we go. The installation is complete. So private internet access program is already installed. All you have to do is just log in. If you have already purchased it, you just got to enter your login credentials. If you haven't purchased it yet, you need to purchase it because unfortunately, like most VPN programs, they don't allow you any trial period. There are some VPNs that do allow you for the trial period, but I've checked a few different ones of them and most of them don't even let you try it before you buy it. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. I wish they give you some time to try it, but what they give you, they usually give you 30 day money back guarantee, which is not as good if you can try it and then decide whether you want to buy it or not. Because if you already paid for the first month and then you decide you don't like it, then you have to write to the support, tell them that you don't like it. They will ask you a million questions why you don't like it, how they can help you. And that's the way it is. But this private internet access is pretty good. I checked the speed for it. It doesn't have the best speed out of other VPN programs that I have tried, but they do have a lot of servers. And if it's something you're interested in, they have over 10,000 servers located worldwide. So it is a VPN that's worth checking for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and log in and check out this VPN program a little bit more. I like the way they put the on and off button right in the middle, pretty huge button. So you're not gonna miss it. This is pretty cool. Otherwise, the program is pretty small and unfortunately, you cannot even make it bigger. I don't really like that it's so small and you cannot choose between a large version or the small version. It cannot be adjusted. But if you go to the countries, as you can see, there are many different countries location and they show you all the different countries and cities where all the VPN servers are located. You can also highlight the one that you like and choose them to favorites. This way you can find it a lot quicker and then you can connect it right away. If you click on the down arrow, it's going to show you more details about the connection that you have. It shows you the quick connect countries. It shows you the download speed, upload speed. Then you can turn on desktop notifications and choose some other quick settings, which is not bad. If you go to the settings, they do have a pretty good settings. You can launch it on a startup. You can connect on launch right away. They have open VPN and WireGuard protocols, which is also good. You can change the data encryption to AES. 256, which is going to be safer than 128. So they do have a lot of different settings you can play with. It gives you the VPN kill switch. For example, if your VPN get disconnected, it's going to automatically disconnect from the internet. You can also use multi-hop, which usually means you can use two VPN servers at the same time. So your connection is going to go through two or more VPN servers before it actually reaches to you which gives you another layer of security. So yeah, this is it guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support it with a like, subscribe to the channels for more interesting videos. If you have questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.